Grace and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. I finally moved into my new apartment and so as you can tell I'm in a different setting and I'll do like a room tour and everything when I get my bed frame and I'm having my sister's boyfriend make the frame for it so I'm really excited for that. But yeah I got a lot of books actually. Some I bought, some I got from publishers and my previous video was an unhaul but now it's a book haul because that's how I do things. Anyway, I'm really excited about all these books, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. The first book I'm going to show you is a book that I'm currently reading, and it goes great with the season and the holiday coming up, and that is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohen. Cohen? Am I saying that right? And David Levithan. Levithan. I don't think I'm saying that right either, but this is actually my best friend McKenna's favorite book, or one of her favorite books, and um, I'm currently reading it, and it's just really cute and fluffy, and I think it's going to be a great Christmas book. Going into this book, I didn't read the synopsis, but what I've gathered from what I'm reading is Lily, she left like a scavenger hunt list at the Last Strand bookstore, which is in New York, and Dash is kind of following that list and making his own rules, and it's all set during Christmas time, so it's just very cute, and I'm really loving it. Dog Park is right outside my window and people can see me. The next book I got, I got recommended on my Instagram because I said something about liking books with Faye. Like anything that has to do with the Faye court, I am so down for any book. And so a lot of people recommended me Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr, which is a, the first book in her Faye series. All I know is it's about Faye, that's all I really need to know. I love Faye, there should be more books and TV and movies about them because they're my favorite. The next book I got, I received in my Owl Crate, and I'm so excited about this. And it is an Owl Crate exclusive because it's like a different edition. Or they, I don't know if it's a sticker or what, but um, it's Heartless by uh, Melissa Marissa Mayer, which she wrote one of my favorite series, The Lunar Chronicles, and this is a spin-off dealing with the Red Queen or the Queen of Hearts. Is that the same person? I'm not like super knowledgeable about that, but I'm so excited because Melissa Mayer wrote this, and I will read anything she writes because she's one of my favorite authors. The next book I received, I also received in another subscription box, and I am so excited to read this. Like I said with every other book, I'm really freaking excited to read this, and that is A World Without you by Beth Revis. I've not read anything by Beth Revis. I do own her Across the Universe trilogy though and I've heard nothing but good things about that and this and from what I know this book follows a boy who he's been time traveling like he's been to, been through the Civil War and all these things but he doesn't know if they're a delusion or not like his mom thinks they are. The cool thing about this book is Beth Revis left all right for the subscription box that I got it from um, Beth Revis left little sticky notes. I don't know if they're just her thoughts while writing this book or her inspiration for the characters or something, but that is another cool like detail of this book, so I'm so excited. The next book I got, I got while grocery shopping because I think that that needs to be a necessity, like getting a book while grocery shopping just makes it a little bit more exciting, and that is Tales of the Shadow Hunter, Cro Shadow Hunter Academy by Cassandra Clare. Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wassermore. Man, I've read a couple of these short stories, but not in full. And I just saw it, and I was like, of course I'm going to buy it. The Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices and the Dark Artifices is, are like one of my all-time favorite series in a whole. Like they're all connected, kind of, you know what I'm saying? So I'm so excited to read this. I, like I say with everything, but this series and these characters, Simon Lewis, are so dear to my heart, it hurts sometimes. The next book I got I received from Disney Hyperion, so thank you again Disney for sending me this because it's one of my favorite books of the year. I have a whole separate review for it, and that is A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, her debut novel. That still kind of blows my mind that this is a debut novel. This follows a bo well, it follows two boys, but he's pretty popular in high school, and he has his elective is being the aide for a teacher, and she has him kind of befriend this freshman who she's questioning his home life. He's very skittish and she just questions is his home life okay? So Adam befriends Julian and Adam finds out that Julian is actually his previous foster brother and he is going to rekindle their friendship. He's super excited about it but he finds that Julian is harboring secrets about his home life and basically the story takes off from there and it's so beautiful. Watch my review because I kind of cry in it. So good. 
The next book I got, I also received in another subscription box, and I'll link all my unboxings down below so you can find what um, book that is from the subscription box. But this one is A Darkly Beating Heart by Lindsay Smith. This sounds so unique and different from so many books that I've read. It follows this girl, and I believe that tragedy has struck her family, and she is going to be sent to Japan to stay with her extended relatives to find more about her culture and her ancestry. And actually, she finds herself slipping back into the year of 1860 where she does learn more about her culture and everything and it's gonna deal with Japanese culture which I'm so excited to learn about. This is another time traveling and I know nothing about 1862 Japan so I'm super excited. The next book I got I received by Penguin Teen in exchange for an honest review so thank you very much Penguin for sending me this and that is Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. I know David Arnold wrote Mosquito Land and I've had my eye on that book for a while but I just have not gotten it. So I did receive this, and from what I know, it's about friendship, and also the first page starts in an interrogation room. So it sounds really awesome, and also the characters are extremely diverse, which we need more of. Another thing is all the reviews say that this is a life changer, and I need one of those books because I'm kind of in a slumpy mood with reading. I just need a book that changes my life. I need that. And the last book I got, I went to my mom's house to get my dog yesterday, and this box was waiting for me by Penguin. They're always so nice to me, and it came in this book, or in this box, and it says City of Saints and Thieves. It's like a heart monitor. Actually, I have no idea, but I think so. Sports timer, maybe it's just a timer. But it also came with this book, City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson. And it says, the girl with the dragon tattoo meets Gone Girl in this thrilling YA murder mystery set in Kenya. Sounds freaking awesome. So all the books that I have received and bought in the last couple months, I think, or maybe month. I don't know when my previous book haul was, but I think it was a couple months ago. But let's just appreciate my dog for a second. I got a heating blanket and she loves it so much. So she just chills. It's the cutest thing ever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.